Hi, welcome to this new episode of HubSpot 101, the series where I share some useful tips and tricks regarding basic features of HubSpot. And today I would like to focus on the workflow re-enrollment feature because I see a lot of different portals where this notion is not really understood and then can lead to a lot of automation issues. So for this video, I prepare a really easy automation, which is if a contact fill a form, he will receive an email. So that's easy to understand, but this automation can lead to two different results, depending on what you want. Do you want that if a lead fill a form, he receive a mail just one time, or do you want that every time a lead fill a form, he received this email and that's what re-enrollment is made for. Let's say that in our example, the form is like a lead magnet form and we send the lead magnet through an email. We want to send it every time a contact fill a form because maybe he lost the previous email or he just want to get it again for some reason. So we want that every time a lead fill a form, he receive this lead magnet. To do so, you just need to click on the contact enrollment triggers option and go to re-enrollment. As you see, it's off. It means that if a contact already been in this workflow, it will never be re-enrolled. But if you turn it on, it means that because we take the form submission uh, option, every time you will fill a new form, it will get re-enrolled to the workflow again. You can click on save and that's it. Be careful, if your workflow has some delays, let's say based on set amount of time, four days. If a lead is in your workflow and stuck in a delay step, if you fill another form, it will not be re-enrolled because it's currently inside a workflow. So be conscious of that specificity. If a contact is already enrolled in the workflow, it can't be re-enrolled twice at the same time. And talking about re-enrollment and like defining the rules of who's going to be concerned by your workflow, when you review and publish it, is the last thing you need to take care of is this option. If a contact already meets the trigger criteria, so in our example, every lead that already fill a form at some point in your database, do you want them to receive the mail, click yes, or do you want this workflow to only concern the contact that we fill a form after we turn on the workflow, just click no. It's really important to change the good box because you don't want all the database to receive a mail that was not made to be sent. I hope you enjoyed this short trick. If it's the case, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and put a like under this video. And if you want to know more about workflows, you will find in the description below a link to my workflow box, a free content I share with you filled with a lot of useful automation you can directly copy paste into your portal. It was great. I hope you have a nice day and see you soon.